In the realm of aviation disasters, few incidents have left as profound an impact as the tragic crash of Japan Airlines Flight 123. It's a story shrouded in mystery, marked by a cascade of events that culminated in unimaginable devastation. Join us as we embark on a gripping journey into the heart of this aviation enigma, unraveling the layers of negligence, human error, and fatal flaws that led to one of the deadliest accidents in history. From the bustling terminals of Haneda Airport to the treacherous peaks of Gunma Prefecture, we delve deep into the investigation, uncovering startling revelations and haunting truths that echo through the corridors of aviation safety. Prepare to be captivated as we shed light on the untold story behind Japan Airlines Flight 123, a tale of tragedy, resilience, and the quest for answers amidst the wreckage of shattered lives. Welcome to Flight 123, The Untold Tragedy. August 12, 1985, Haneda Airport, Tokyo, Japan, 5 8 30 p.m. The Boeing 747-SR46, bearing registration JA-8119, underwent preparations at Haneda Airport at 5.30 p.m., having completed five successful flights prior to its destined journey. As ground crews meticulously attended to maintenance checks and refueling procedures, the aircraft stood poised for its next venture into the skies. Despite its storied history of reliable service, little did anyone anticipate the unforeseen events that would unfold during its forthcoming flight, casting a shadow over its otherwise routine preparations. Haneda Airport, located in Ota, Tokyo, is one of the busiest and most prominent airports in Japan. Renowned for its efficiency and connectivity, Haneda serves as a vital hub for both domestic and international air travel. While Itami Airport, also known as Osaka International Airport, holds a significant place in Japan's aviation landscape as one of the country's busiest airports. Located in Itami City, Hyogo Prefecture, and serving the greater Osaka area, Itami Airport primarily handles domestic flights, connecting passengers to destinations across Japan. The aircraft involved in the incident was a Boeing 747-SR46 with the registration JA-8119 serial number 20783, line number 230, manufactured and delivered to Japan Airlines in 1974. At the time of the accident, it had amassed just over 25,000 flight hours and completed approximately 18,800 cycles, with each cycle encompassing takeoff, cabin pressurization, depressurization, and landing. At the time of the accident, the aircraft was on the fifth of its six planned flights of the day. The flight had 15 crew members, including three cockpit crew and 12 cabin crew. The cockpit crew consisted of Captain Masami Takahama, aged 49, served as a training instructor for First Officer Yutaka Sasaki on the flight, supervising him while handling the radio communications, while also acting as the First Officer. Takahama was a veteran pilot having logged around 12,423 total flight hours, roughly 4,842 hours of which were accumulated flying 747S. First Officer Yutaka Sasaki, age 39, was undergoing training for promotion to the rank of captain and flew Flight 123 as one of his final training evaluation flights, acting as captain on the flight. 14. 15. He had about 3,963 total flight hours to his credit and had logged roughly 2,665 hours in the 747. Flight engineer Hiroshi Fukuda, age 46, was a veteran flight engineer with approximately 9,831 total flight hours, of which roughly 3,846 hours were accrued flying 747 AS. The flight was around the Obon holiday period in Japan, when many Japanese people make yearly trips to their hometowns or resorts. 22 non-Japanese were on board the flight, including four residents of Hong Kong, two each from Italy and the United States, and one each from West Germany and the United Kingdom. Some ostensible foreigners had dual nationality, and some of them were residents of Japan. The four survivors, all female, were seated on the left side and toward the middle of seat rows 5460 in the rear of the aircraft. 22. Among the passengers were Japanese singer and actor Q Sakamoto and banker Akihisa Yukawa, the father of violinist and composer Diana Yukawa. The flight connected two of the largest cities of Japan, and a number of other celebrities initially booked the flight but ultimately avoided the tragedy by either switching to another flight 
or using the Tokaido Shinkansen instead. These include Sanma Akashiya, Masataka Itsumi and his family, Johnny Kitagawa, and the cast of Shoten at the time. Members of the Shonen Tai were also scheduled to travel with Kitagawa, but ultimately stayed behind in Tokyo. June 2, 1978, while operating Japan Airlines Flight 115 along the same route, JA 8119 bounced heavily on landing while carrying out an instrument approach to runway 32L at Itami Airport. The pilot then excessively flared the aircraft, causing a severe tail strike on the second touchdown. No fatalities occurred among the 394 people on board, but 25 people were injured, 23 minor and 2 serious. The tail strike cracked open the aft pressure bulkhead. The damage was repaired by Boeing technicians and the aircraft was returned to service. The aircraft had flown for 8,830 hours at the time of the tail strike incident. At 4 p.m., Japan Airlines Flight 123, ready for departure, pushed back from Gate 18 at Haneda Airport. With passengers settled in their seats and the aircraft systems engaged, anticipation filled the air as the flight crew prepared for takeoff. Despite initial delays, at 6.12 p.m., Flight 123 finally soared into the evening sky, lifting off from runway 15L. However, the departure was 12 minutes behind schedule, setting the stage for a journey that would tragically deviate from its anticipated course. At 6.24 p.m., just 12 minutes after takeoff, Japan Airlines Flight 123 suffered rapid decompression while cruising over Sagami Bay near Higashizu, Shizuka. The event caused the collapse of the rear lavatory ceiling, damaged the unpressurized fuselage, and unseated the vertical stabilizer. All four hydraulic lines were severed, leaving the aircraft critically compromised. A haunting photograph from the ground revealed the missing vertical stabilizer, depicting the severity of the tragedy. The pilots activated a distress signal via the transponder and Captain Takahama contacted Tokyo Area Control Center, declaring an emergency and requesting a return to Haneda Airport. They were directed to descend and follow emergency L ending vectors to Oshima. Tokyo Control approved a right-hand turn towards Oshima, during which the aircraft entered a bank of 40 degree, higher than expected. Captain Takahama instructed First Officer Sasaki to reduce the bank angle after encountering difficulty in controlling the aircraft. Despite repeated attempts to regain control, including adjusting the autopilot and issuing banking and pulling up commands, the aircraft remained unresponsive. Recognizing the dire situation, Captain Takahama ordered descent. Between 6.27 and 6.34 p.m., the aircraft veered off course over the Izu Peninsula, showing signs of confusion, possibly due to hypoxia. Tokyo Control tried to communicate with the pilots about hydraulic pressure loss, but they struggled to understand. Captain Takahama acknowledged the aircraft's uncontrollable state. Passing over Yaizu, Shizuoka, at 6 hours 31 minutes and 2 seconds p.m., the crew reported erratic altitude fluctuations. With lost hydraulic control, the aircraft experienced fugoid oscillations, climbing and descending erratically. Attempts to regain control with engine thrust were limited. Despite suggestions to use oxygen masks, none of the pilots did so, likely due to cognitive impairment from hypoxia. Between 6.34 and 6.48 p.m., the flight engineer responded to Japan Air Tokyo, mentioning a broken R5 door due to inoperative oxygen masks. They declined returning to Haneda, opting for emergency descent. 
pilots adjusted engine thrust to stabilize altitude but struggled with Dutch roll. Lowering landing gear helped but compromised control. By 6.45 p.m., the aircraft was again uncontrollable, descending towards mountains. Around 6.50 p.m., a ground photographer captured the missing vertical stabilizer. Between 6.48 and 6.55 p.m., the aircraft descended below 7,000 feet, nearing the mountains as cabin altitude momentarily turned off due to thicker air. In an attempt to avoid the terrain, the captain ordered abrupt changes in engine power, exacerbating the fugoid motion and causing the aircraft to pitch up and down rapidly. Power adjustments led to a rapid climb followed by a stall, prompting the captain to increase power further. The captain then deployed flaps to exert control, albeit through an alternate electrical system, while Japan Air Tokyo repeatedly attempted to establish communication. Despite efforts to stabilize the aircraft, it continued to descend uncontrollably. As the flaps extended, an imbalance in lift caused the aircraft to bank abnormally to the right, prompting the captain to retract the flaps and increase power unevenly between the engines. Desperate attempts to regain control failed as the aircraft entered a steep right-hand descent towards the mountains. Despite full power and warnings from the ground proximity system, the aircraft ultimately leveled out briefly before crashing, subjecting occupants to significant vertical acceleration. At 6.56 p.m., the aircraft, still banking at 40 degrees, collided with trees on a ridge 1.4 kilometers north-northwest of Mount Mikuni at 1,530 meters elevation. The impact, recorded at 0.14 g on the cockpit voice recorder, caused the loss of thrust from the fourth engine, leading to a sharp roll to the right and downward pitch. Continuing this path, it clipped another ridge with a U-shaped ditch, 520 meters away at 1,610 meters elevation, likely causing further damage. The weakened tail section, outer third of the right wing, and three engines separated, scattering 500, 700 meters ahead. The aircraft flipped onto its back, striking another ridge 570 meters northwest near Mount Takamagahara, exploding upon impact. Seismic activity recorded by a seismometer at Tokyo University's Shinetsu Earthquake Observatory marked the crash at approximately 6 hours 56 minutes and 30 seconds p.m., 32 minutes after the initial bulkhead failure. The aircraft crashed at an elevation of 1,565 meters, 5,135 feet, in Sector 76 of the State Forest in Ueno Village, Gunma Prefecture. The crash killed all 15 crew and 505 of the 509 passengers on board, with only four survivors. Among the victims were singer Kyu Sakamoto and banker Akihisa Yukawa. Celebrities such as Sanma Akashiya and Johnny Kitagawa had initially booked the flight but avoided the tragedy by switching to other flights or using alternative transportation. Members of the Shonen Tai group were also scheduled to travel but remained in Tokyo. In 1995, a U.S. Air Force navigator at Yokota Air Base reported the military's monitoring of distress calls and a subsequent search and rescue operation. Despite the prompt locating of the crash site by a C-130 crew, Japanese authorities halted the operation. JSDF efforts were hindered by poor visibility and challenging terrain, delaying ground deployment. Rescue teams initiated their mission the next day, but medical examinations suggested potential survival if aid had arrived sooner. One survivor, Yumi Ochiai, recalled hearing helicopters and seeing lights after regaining consciousness amidst the wreckage. The investigation into the tragic crash of Japan Airlines Flight 123 revealed a fatal flaw stemming from a tail strike incident seven years prior. Repairing the aft pressure bulkhead after the tail strike, technicians deviated from Boeing's approved methods, compromising the aircraft's structural integrity by approximately 30%. Despite post-repair inspections, the critical defect remained concealed. After enduring approximately 11,000 pressurization cycles, a catastrophic failure occurred mid-flight, triggering a rapid decompression event and rendering vital flight controls inoperable. Another unrelated incident in the aircraft's history, a runway strike in 1982, played no role in the crash, 